Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Metamonster Kusho. In the last part, we got here to the meta shop and started some metalink stuff as well as doing some other minor things. And now we're actually gonna do our first meta link rush, really. Uh, the way I'm handling these is that I'm gonna show smaller versions of the video feed for each of the battles, sped up if the case is needed, as well as going over strategies for them. Starting off on the bottom left there, we got the select core with the standard select three stand setup. Uh, nothing too annoying, we've seen this before. You fought this in random battles at this point, so it shouldn't give you much trouble. Uh, Attack Toronto can go down really easily. Start next up on the bottom right there, we have another fight against Sloan. I seriously do not remember fighting this guy this many times when I recorded the footage, but oh well. Same fight as usual though, two fire flashes and the totalizer itself. Uh, Anti-C parts are recommendable for that fight just to get rid of the fire flashes quickly. However, if you're trying to just to focus on the totalizer, uh, aim shot I suppose could be a way to go about that if you have a metal that can target his parts, or at least pref or prefers to target its parts. On the top left there, we got a Rubber Rubber using the Foxuno Haniwa Gorum team. You've seen that again at this point. Uh, nothing too bad. Uh, Gorum and Haniwa are basically just meat shields, nothing too annoying. And then on the top right, we got Milky again for some reason, still using the Wolfiel and Sunwitch team. Uh, as usual, NTC parts, good to get rid of the Wolfiels. Uh, Sunwitch will go down pretty quickly after that. Pushover can be annoying, but oh well. Uh, use your parts as custom as you like. Uh, I still recommend NTC parts for the battles where you can use them. But otherwise, these fights aren't too annoying. And I should mention, whenever I have to do a Metal Link Rush like this, uh, it will actually be using a different speed-up theme than the main speed-up theme for that part. The, uh, what we're hearing now is the song, uh, I think it's Hurry On, uh, from Final Fantasy VII. It's the theme that plays in the arena, either way. Uh, some of these rushes are going to be shorter than others because uh, some of them have more opponents, some have less. I think this one has the least at four, uh, at four you can fight at a time, whereas later ones will have like five. Uh, you could feasibly wait to do this until post-game, I believe, but I like doing it now just to get the extra experience points and extra parts if I can. Uh, part preferences for all the fights, by the way, it doesn't really matter. Uh, select core and hunt and the, gore and the rubber robots, you should probably have all those parts at this point anyway. Uh, but try to get totalizer parts if you can from that fight. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me whether or not you get, well, at least it shouldn't matter to you, uh, if you get Sunwitch or Wolfiel parts, because honestly, they're both pretty decent. Uh, pushover could be preferred for tactical purposes, though. And now we're done! So let's get in our mini s wheel and head on over to the school, because that way we were told that's where we were told to head next. Then as soon as I figure out where I'm going. Here we go. Oh, hey, Erica. Iki, over here! What is it this time, Erica? I just saw someone wearing a rubber robo outfit going to the school. Just as I thought. I knew the culprit had to be in the school somewhere. If I stay here just a little more, I'm sure the culprit will come out. Eh, seems likely. But it's still the work of the rubber robo gang. Everyone was deceived by that rubber robo gang costume. I'm sure people would call the select core on you if you were wearing a wearing one. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I know I am. You can't tell much just from appearance. But if I was the culprit, I would never think to wear such a lame outfit. Sure you would, Iki. Ah, weirdo! Even the girls are calling me a weirdo. What are you doing? Go after him! I'll check on things inside the school. Okay, headed off in this direction towards this house, so let's check it out. It's a dead end. There's just a house here. I wonder, could the suspect be inside? Anyway, this is an awesome house. The name place says... I don't know. There's an intercom. Should I push it? Eh, might as well see if they saw anything. Yes? Who is it? Uh, excuse me. Well, well, could you be a friend of the young masters? He's just returned home. Please, please, come in! I just wanted to ask if anyone had seen the Rubber Robo gang around, but I might as well go see what's going on inside. They have a freaking lawn inside? Stupid rich people! This is the master bedroom. Uh, let's talk to the main guy then. Come right this way, please! Okay. Um, the reason I came here is... <laughs> what's the matter? Are you crying? I'm just so happy that the young master has finally made a friend! Mother and father are always busy, and the young master does get so lonely. I, the butler, know all of this too well. Please. From now on. Please play nice with the young master. What? Well, then I shall go call the young master. Uh, okay, then. Wow, that was fast. Hey, this looks looks familiar. Isn't that that really unusual metabot they only had one of at the meta shop? Eh, there's no reason for it to be here, though, right? 
Totally not. Totally not. Either way, also, this place is painted gold. What the hell? It's a family picture. It says Hachiro, six years old, on the back. In the middle, that's... It's that kid from Rosewood Private School. That means this is his house? There's no way I'm going to be his friend. Don't even joke like that. Oh, the little dickweed with the stingray battle. Right. Man, this family must really be rich compared to everyone else because everything is gold. Yeah. The young master said he wasn't feeling up to snuff today. I'm very sorry, but could you come be kind enough to come back at a later date? Excuse me, but isn't that Metabot over there an extremely rare one? I heard there's supposed to be only one in the entire town. I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about any Metabots. Now, if you excuse me, I must tend to the young master. It's like they're hiding something. Well, oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm just gonna go see what Erica's up to and Rosewood Private. Well, that's certainly a lead, I suppose. Huh? Erica, didn't you go on ahead? I've been investigating these classrooms lately. There's a really scary teacher on guard, right? I thought it'd be better if we went together. You know, if one of us got caught. I see. By the way, how did you do? Uh... Did you find anyone who looked like a rubber rubbo? No. Sorry, I lost him. Man, you're really useless. There's something I thought of. What's up? Never mind. Okay, then. Let's split up. I'll go left and you go right, okay? Surely this can't go wrong. I think I'll find out more about that Hachiro kid. It's probably a wise decision there, Iki. Oh yeah, teacher. Students from the other schools are not permitted here. Leave it at once. Gee, we can't go any further. Ah! Get your hands off me! So you're back again. This time, get out and stay out. Leave me alone. Iki, it's up to you now. Stop wasting my time. I can't tell which old guy was speaking there. <laughs> All right, I can get upstairs. Sweet. But first, let's check out these other... Okay, that's a bathroom. Nope, get the hell out. Let's check out the other classrooms here. Uh, there's no real reason to go into these at all. Uh, though I don't know what this kid's talking about. I, 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 you might be able to... If you can sell the Karen Fan Club photo, I don't know about that. I'll be honest. Uh, this room here, though, kind of pisses me off. Because they tell you about stat stuff. Why do they have stat tutorial stuff this late into the game? If this was all back at Riverview School, at our, at our school, rather, it'd be fine, but why here? I mean, I suppose schools should be teaching this stuff anyway, but it's... It, it bothers me. Hey, are you from another school? That's pretty unusual. Hey, what's up? People at this school are a little scary. Just because it's a private school doesn't mean we're all stuck up. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, since Karen probably goes here. Metabot law number one, a metabot can never harm a human being on purpose. Does that mean if it isn't on purpose, it's okay? Oh god, we're getting to law interpretations. Hey, do you like metabots? Huh? You wanna know about Hachiro? He's probably the lowest form of the life on the planet, but I think he really has a passion for metabots. Okay then. This is the Row Battle Club. We gather in a row battle and exchange info on other with other meta fighters. I think they misspelled that there, by the way. Meta parts that are broken on during a row battle repair themselves because of their slaff system, I heard. If you're a real meta fighter, you'll roll battle with me. Eh, sure, by the way, I, I do this off screen because I cut this out. This is a normal, this, this is another Charlie Baron Oceana fight. Let's talk with the teacher. The slab system using, uses the nano machines to turn into metabots to automatically repair themselves. And nano machines are, um. Nano machines, son. Well, that explains everything. <laughs> God, I really do not like that part of Metal Gear Solid Force writing, actually. Oh, Karen! I didn't score high on my last set, so I have to take extra study classes. Hachiro? He's in the class on the left. Alright, well, let's talk to Karen first. Karen! Oh, Iki, good afternoon. Karen, do you have classes now? I've been absent too many times and have to have to take makeup classes. Why are you here, Iki? Well, me? Well, there was something I was curious about, so I came out to find some information on Hachiro. Are you talking about Awano? To put it bluntly, I don't hear many good things about him, but... Huh? I feel he's acting like that on purpose. When we were younger, me, him, and Koji used to play together, but I don't know what he's... Huh, I'm a little surprised by that. Did anything happen to Awano? It's not that important, really. Thanks, Karen. Alright, then. 
We're doing extra study classes now, you're going to all your classes, right? Yes, at my other school. Hey, now I have nothing to say about that, that's just a dialogue. <laughs> He's still not back yet. What's wrong? I had my meta watch taken by me from me by the principal. So I asked another teacher to, pl to please get it back for me, but he hasn't come back yet. Which teacher? Professor Seraph. Okay then, that's the thing. And since this is the class that Chiro's in, we can't really do anything about that yet. Or at least not get in there yet, so let's go check out the principal's office then. Uh, thankfully, this school is also two floors just like ours, so we don't have any extra real places to go through. I think the principal has just saved shot up in his office. I haven't seen him at all. I wonder if something's wrong. Eh, that sounds like an RPG rumor. If you're looking for Professor Seraph, he said he was going to the principal's office. Okay, then. I think it's good to introduce children to Metabots via education. However, the principal seems to think otherwise. The principal conducted a search of the principal's blocking to see any, seized any Metabots that were found. Just what is he trying to do? I don't know, but I know he's causing me to stutter a lot because for some reason I can't talk too fast today, except for right now because I'm not talking off a script. I had thought to take the, the, back the med watches the principal had seized. Typo there, by the way. From the children, but he just threw me out of the office. Are you Professor Seraph? A girl was waiting for you. Ah, oh, guess I have to give her the bad news. Is it even legal for schools to hold on to stuff that they took from students, at least for an extended period of time like this? I know confiscations are a thing, but I don't think it's actually legal for them to do that. Um... Oh, it's a student from another school! Yay, row battle with me! But hold on, I want to... Now we're being forced into a row battle against Starpedas. I believe this row battle changes depending on your version, but I need to look that up if it is. I do think it is, though. Uh, Starpedas, if you recall, uh, strike, yeah, and counterattack is basically what they got. Uh, Anti-sea parts are recommended for that, That's which is why I brought, put the undersea flow on my chameleon metabot. Uh, though this fight isn't that hard because you have parts that can counter them pretty easily now. Toy boxes, if that is what the fight is in Meta, in Meta B, are fairly easy in comparison to these guys. Doesn't really say about it. That was intense. So, what did you want? What do you know about Hachiro? Hey everyone, this guy wants to know about Hachiro. Do you mean Awano? That guy doesn't even have one person he can call a friend. Even when we asked him to join us, he never talked to us. He doesn't play well with others, but he's really, really good at row battling. He's really high up on the Metal Link rankings. Hey listen, I saw Awano come in here wearing a weird outfit. Without even realizing it, I just screamed Freak. Really? Then you're the one who screamed before. Yep, without a doubt, that was Awano. I got eyes like a hawk. I guess he changed into normal clothes here. And that rubber robo was... Alright, starting to make sense. Thanks a lot. All right, now we got the information we need. Let's, I guess, head up back over to Hachiro's house. Or not. Erica, were you all right? I ran into some trouble. How about you? So-so, I guess. Can't really say, huh? Well, I found out there was a meta fighter in the school who uses the same meta that used by the so-called clever rubber robo. Just like I expected, right? All you have to do is hand that meta fighter over to the select core and it's all over. But Erica... You have a problem with my plan? If you do, spit it out. Anyway, I'll be going back to Rosewood Private School. I need to see what else I can find. You go call the Select Corps. But the Select Corps probably can't help, so go get Koji too. Why do I have to get Koji? Just in case. He's got this whole hero justice thing about him. Are you serious? The girls at Rosewood, Pri Rosewood Private School seem to think so. The Select Corps is usually just so incredibly useless. If something were to happen, they would be the last people to call for help. Ah, <sighs> poor Select Corps. Now hurry up and go. Yeah, yeah. I might as well go check out the Select Core HQ, but I really don't wanna. Eh, might as well. Let's head on over there first. Also, let's be honest, we all have that one friend that we're like that with, and this guy's sleeping while standing up. You are... Oh, God. <laughs> I have nothing to say to that, honestly. <laughs> Uh, I understand that guard duty sucks, guys, but come on, it's at least, it looks like it's about 3 p.m. Also, I don't get why this medic's here, because uh, there's nothing to really use it with. Also, I met him during a crazy robot against a very strong rubber robo. That's why I came to ask the select core to get it back for me. Seems logical. Let's talk to the guy in front, then. Or not, I can just ignore him and talk to this guy. There's no mission during important meetings. Okay, maybe we should talk to the guy at the front. Um, it looks like the Rubber Robo Gang is in rows. Now that you mentioned it, I haven't seen many roses blooming this season. 
No, I mean the rubber robo. It's so sad they have to die naturally. Jeez. Oh boy. Welcome to Select Core HQ. If you have any problems, don't hesitate to ask us. It has to do with Rosa Private School. If it's about Rosa Private School, our man by the entrance is very knowledgeable. I see. Thank you. Yeah, that was just me getting a bit ahead of myself with talking to the soldiers. The Rubber Robo Gang is up to something at Rosa Private School. You don't say? Are you a student at Rosa Private? I was a student at that school too. And I should teach you how to survive there. How do I train your metabot with you? That's not what I meant. Select core fight, as usual. Always do your best. I'll do my... Oh, whatever. What? Code red, code red. All units move out to Rosemary Private School on the double. We've got big trouble. Move out of the way. Well, that's, I guess, convenient timing. People call me! What? <laughs> um, if you guys are trying to do your roll call, you're doing it in really slow fashion. Cute girls call for my help. People call me to defeat the Rubber Robos. Uh, after how many times I've defeated you, I don't think they would do that very easily. Go and defeat them! Um, what happened? The Rubber Robo Gang has barricaded themselves at Rosen Private School. They've, they've even taken hostages. What? I hope you can tell us anyone getting hurt. Uh, okay then, that happens then. Holy metaroli! I've got to get back to Rosa Private School. And why did that kid just leave? I never understood why he did that. <laughs> well, at least that's convenient timing. We were telling them to go there anyway, but oh well. Seriously, why did that kid leave? I've never know. I've never known why he did that. Oh man, they're even up front. They've taken an unknown number of hot students as hostages. Oh, boy. Captain Abomori and Lieutenant Tokuri have already entered the school. Ah, oh, that's great. Oh, Koji! Iki! Koji! Have you seen Karen? I'm sure she came here to take makeup classes today. Erica's in there, too. So she's even snooping around the school now, huh? Well, I was off at the Select Core HQ, something big happened. Why are they in there? It's not like they can do anything. I want my mommy! I want to go home! Everyone's panicking inside. I'm worried about Karen's health. Hey, we've got a real good idea. Wanna give it a shot? <laughs> Whisper, Weisper, oh, God. Damn it. Did they just only proofread the early game script and they just kind of stopped caring a little bit towards the end? What? Even the Rubble Rubble Gang wouldn't fall for such a simple trick. Let's just see, shall we? Well, I say towards the end, we're just over halfway through. Hey, Rubble Rubble Gang, what do you want? I forgot my homework in class. Be a pal and get it for me? I'm in room 4 or 2, second desk from the front, second desk from the right. It's my math homework. I can't remember all those numbers. I don't even like math. Go get it yourself. See? Rubber Rubbles can't handle numbers. Let's go, Wiki. Unbelievable. Ah, that was pathetic. Where did Koji go off to? Yeah, well, let's head off to the left then. Never mind, let's go to the right. Oh, there he is. Oh, damn it. This place is off limits! Shut up! If there are crying children in there, how can I not do anything? I can't stand in slip punks! Select three, teach them some manners! I've got no time to play with kids like him. People call? Cute girls call for my help. What a waste of time, you take care of them. Oh boy. To defeat the Rubber Rubble Gang? What? Why me? Hey, you didn't let us finish our entrance. Guess who you fight there? Justice is lost. So since you won, that means you two are a man of justice. You may pass. I mean, justice is won. Wow, I said that wrong entirely. Oh, well. Those are some strange guys. I agree, so let's head on upstairs. Oh, hi. Did you forget your homework, too? That's too bad. All the classroom doors are locked. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. I'm only letting you pass because you need to get your homework. Not the fact that you might beat me. Without your homework, you can't study. Well, at least they're somewhat decent about some things. Oh, damn it. So, boy, you're here again. I see. You just don't give up. What about the kids being held hostage and... Sir, but the door ahead is locked. Also, there's no reason for me to have to go inside. All I have to do is wait outside and they'll just come to me. 
But Captain, these kids might be anxiously waiting for us. Silence! You'll be your leader without objection! Then the victory will walk right into our hands by itself! <laughs> oh my god, I hate you so much. Get out of the way! I'll catch you all later! But, but Captain! Oh man. I've seen some inefficient cops, but oh boy. I'm not going back, Select Core. Oh, there's Koji. Yo, Iki, you're late. When you were taking your time, I was busy cleaning up the rubber rubbles in front of the teacher's lounge. Also, I got the keys for the classrooms from one of the teachers. Those, these morons locked all the classrooms up from the inside. I had a feeling that might come in handy. Okay, so now we can get into the classrooms. Yeah, but only two. What do you mean? Rubber Robos took all the other keys for the other classrooms. I right know we have the keys for the two of, for two of the classrooms on the second floor. One's the key for me and Karen's classroom, the other is next door. You get to pick which one, though. Which end? Left or right? This is how I'm gonna choose? Um, how about right? This is part of the Cat and uh, Metal Quests. Uh, if you want to do- if you're on the Cat Metal Quest, rather, say no because you want the key that's in his left hand. If you're on the Question Mark Metal Quest like I am, say yes. Plain and simple. Uh, later things do change about this, but I'll go over that when it's more relevant. Okay, right it is. And we got the B-Class key. I'm gonna go ahead. Cool, so let's head on over there. Uh, it's exactly where Karen was earlier. It's the middle classroom. This key looks like it'll work. Okay, it's opened. I have to stay after school, and now this happens. Save, by the way, it's very recommendable. And let's take a look at my setup really quick. Uh, Gorum parts are very good to have on people. Uh, otherwise, wheel type uh, feet, just because we're on the inside field. That's all you really need. What are you guys doing? Uh, I believe this fight is one of the Magic Clown ones. We've seen this before, so I'm editing out, though. Rubble Howl! Well. Rubble! Well, that happens. Are you okay, Karen? Iki, why are you here? This place is dangerous. Hurry! Oh my, has your prince come to save you on his white horse? Who are you? <laughs> You've punished my cute little ones for me. Now who is this? <laughs> I am the beautiful flower of the Rubber Robo Gang. I am Gil Girl. Okay. Ah, great. Another weirdo shows up. Silence, child! You'll be shattered to pieces before my beautiful robe battling skills. Time for our first fight against Gil Girl. Another reason that I actually took the question mark metal quest. Uh, if you're on the cat metal quest, you're fighting Squid Guts again, and either he's a Viking or dash button team. The main thing with her Gil Girl, though, is that her team also depends on your version. On Here in Rakusho, her lead is Circulus, and over in Metabi, it's Stone Mirror. The glue megs are there no matter what, and that's actually why I have the Gorin parts on. Circulus only has one ability, Drain Charge, which is basically boost charge, only it doesn't only speed you up, it slows down the opponent. So basically you're absorbing their speed. That's all it can do, not too bad. However, over in Metabi, you have a much worse Metabot, Stone Mirror. Stone Mirror uh, is really dangerous, because first off, it has Destroy. It's plain and simple. Uh, and if you don't remember that from the Dark Master fight, basically that's two to three meta parts gone at random on a metabot that's in the radiation phase. If you're in your charge phase, you're fine, but that fight sucks. <laughs> and that's actually one of the bigger reasons I also went for this version, because I hate that fight. Uh, Circulus is a lot easier, and also, her parts are a lot more useful for me, uh, because Drain Charge is actually a pretty good ability. Uh, especially on someone that's like a healer-type meta part, uh, meta bot, rather, because then you could speed yourself up and slow them down to and also increase your healing rate. And now we actually have the real speed-up theme, which I actually completely forgot to mention in the Starpita fight earlier. Uh, it's the boss theme from Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. I love this track. Okay, did the music just stutter for you guys, too, or was that just me? That was weird. Uh, that's all I really have to say about this fight, though. Uh, Menopi's gonna have a lot harder time. Uh, Rakusho is a lot easier here. Another thing you could do to ignore Drain Charge entirely, like I have here, actually, is also to use Victory Armors, because Drain Charge technically counts as a status element on you, so you can completely ignore it. They'll still get sped up, but you won't get slowed down. 
Overall, though, Gil Girl here in Rakusho, not too big of a deal. Uh, Meta B, that's an ordeal and a half. And if you want my recommendation, go for uh, Circulus parts because they're a lot rarer. Uh, though you do get parts for beating her no matter what here. I actually forget what I get. I think I get the head? Yes, I do. Not bad. Uh, limited amount of uses, but pretty useful. You got the right arm charmy hand, and I believe the left arm charmy arm, which are cir the circulus parts, as well as a big key. <laughs> You're not allowed to beat me yet. Someday I'll make you weep. Remember that. But I just beat you. Okay, then. Ah, those guys. They're only good at escaping. Thank you for saving me, but Iki, why are you here? I came in here with Koji. I see, with Koji. I'll be going, then. There's some kid up to no good. I've got to stop him. Um, Awana was... Don't worry about it, Karen. I'll find the remaining children still in the school. Of course. Good luck. Why, thank you. I'll be going too, then. But with that, I'm gonna end this off here. Thank you guys for watching, and in part 18, we'll be finishing off the siege on the school and hopefully rescuing all the kids within it in the process. See you guys, then.